Yo guys, what is up? Um, today I'm gonna face Kino, uh, also known as the coach of the FC Everton. Links to him will obviously be down in the description down below. Uh, first of all, before I want to start off the whole team that I have and like his mods that he can potentially bring, uh, I want to have, I want to say, share some good news with you because uh, the SMD leak was supposed to be five weeks, but uh, everyone was, was having such a good time that we extended it to nine weeks so we can play everyone in the um, like in the whole season, the whole first season. So, I uh, hope you're as hyped for that as we all are, like the competitors. Uh, but apart from that, this video, like I said, FC Everton. And on the screen you can see the team that he uh, is given by us, yeah, I guess. Um, Braviary, Tornadus, Incarnate, Emperos, Mega Gyarados, Theon, Beedrill, Staraptor, Mentine, Gyarados and Blastoise. Uh, the main weakness on this team is like an electric weakness or a rock weakness. Uh, two other weaknesses that I spotted are that he only has one form of priority, and that is on Staraptor. Uh, that's aside from the Tornadus Iowa Tailwind, uh, like Prankster Tailwind or Prankster moves. Um, and the other one was that he doesn't have any Stealth Rocks, and I'm potentially, hopefully, gonna use those to my advantage in this battle. But um, yeah, quickly, the monsters I expect him to bring are Braviary, uh, Staraptor, Emperos, Mega Gyarados, um, Tornadus Incarnate and maybe maybe Blastoise? Did I make the other um, Beedrill? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Uh, Beedrill is the only form of hazards he has. That's uh, Toxic Spikes. So uh, yeah, he might bring some kind of Beedrill set along those lines. But onto my team real quick. Um, I'm gonna lead off with Bisharp because Bisharp is my stealth rocker. Uh, this is Likely gonna be my lead. Uh, I do have stealth for two months on this team, but yeah. Uh, Sucker Punch, Knock Off, and Low Sweep. Uh, low Sweep might seem a little bit weird because he does have a lot of flying types, but this is mainly there to keep uh, Mega Gyarados in check because Mega Gyarados sets up on this. And I, well, I guess if it has the substitute, then I still lose to it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, what do I want to replace uh, Low Sweep with? Because I figured Low Sweep would be nice because it lowers the speed. I could get a Rock Tomb, I know that it gets Rock Tomb as well, but uh, yeah, not the best. I had Snatch on this for one, but that's not really, uh, yeah. Metal Burst, it could be Metal Burst. Should I be Metal Burst? That's not really helping me versus Substitute Gyarados though, but yeah. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, why does it not get like a decent move? Like, what do I need? Maybe like just return or frustration, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> I'm just gonna go with frustration for now. Uh, happiness to zero. Happiness, where's happiness? Oh, it's zero already. Um, if I change back, yeah, it says zero. Okay, cool. Um, I think there's some leftover EVs that I can use, so special defense, why not? No, physical defense, why not? Um, okay, next up is Sunny Day. The Focus Sash, again Focus Sash, uh, Chlorophyll Sweeper, uh, Victory Bell. Uh, this is a thing because, like I said, Toxic Spikes are his only way of uh, hazard, so I want to have a poison uh, type to soak the hazards up. Um, sunny Day, uh, Focus Sash, because, like I said, that's only hazards. Uh, sunny Day, uh, Hidden Power Electric, Gig Drain, and Weather Ball, because those three moves can basically sweep his whole team. Uh, unless he has very bulky months and that can take hits, but yeah. Um, next up, um, I think it's gonna be my biggest win condition. It is a focuses, again focuses, skill link, rock blast, shell smash, ice cold spear, and ice short uh, cluster. Ice short is there mainly for his uh, priority, which is gonna be the Staraptor. And apart from that, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, ice cold spear, well, rock blast basically hits his whole, whole team for neutral damage. So yeah, that's that's why I'm having a rock blast. Ice spears maybe because I need damage or something. I don't know. Uh, I didn't think I need anything else per se, so I'm gonna run with these two moves. Uh, next up is Glacian, and Glacian is a pretty defensive, especially defensive, mixed defensive mod. Uh, work up substitute Baton Pass Ice Beam. Um, so it, I'm planning to like work up and Baton Pass into Aurorus or into Victory Bell. Uh, also, you might have noticed that I'm carrying the Absorb Bull, and this is uh, a thing like you can read right here. It raises my special attack by one stage if I get hit up by a water type move. So I can potentially just use Glacian for the uh, baiting a water move or just like 
getting hit up by a water move and then sub uh, baton pass, I mean baton pass, not sub, but baton pass out into one of these mods and just maybe outspeed them on the following turn, for example if I face uh, Fion, I don't know. Uh, if Fion goes for a scold and I baton pass out into Pretty Bell, then I outspeed it on the following turn and just can get a kill, plus I can be a threatening mod to the rest of the team, for example. Uh, other than that, um, that's basically the whole use. I can spam Ice Beam if necessary, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, next up is Pinsir. Pinsir is a very standard Pinsir. Frustration, Sword Sense, Fiend and Earthquake. Earthquake is there for the Ampros. Fiend is there for the Tornadus Eye. I want to outspeed it and Fiend faint it. Um, not sure how to pronounce that, but I want to faint it to before it like gets up the priority Steelwinds, for example, or priority other non-attacking moves. Um, and last but not least is Aurorus, and Aurorus is a freeze dry because he's weak to freeze dry, as you might have noticed. Only the Pokemons in Blastoise, Mega Gyarados, and Ampharos, really a Fion against as well, but really want to take it. Uh, there's also the T Bolt just in case, and Cell Drugs just in case, and Hyper Voice just in case because I didn't need any other moves, I didn't expect, I didn't think so, yeah. Um, that's basically the whole team, and uh, I'm not sure if this team is ready. I built it like a while ago, so I didn't really change anything on it, and just kind of bank on me being, well, smart that while back, and hopefully I can make use of the team right now. But uh, I'll be right back whenever uh, I get a challenge from Kino, which should be in about 30 seconds. So, be right back. Alright, that took far less than 30 seconds. Um, let me, well, I'm gonna bank on the EVs being correct because I don't want to show my team so uh, <laughs> let's go Kino um, I'm gonna live record this even though I am terrible at live recordings but that's okay um, so he did bring the Emphros, he did bring the Steraptor and the Braviary which kind of were threatening to the Blastoise because bulky this is very likely Mega Gyarados I don't think he's gonna bring regular Gyarados in the Tornado side so basically everything I feared except for the uh, no I think that's everything I feared um, so, that, this is looking scary. Um, I think I'm just gonna lead off with Bishop. I don't see any reason not to. Yeah, why not? Um, I do kind of lack switch ins to uh, Ampharos' fault switches, so I might just be a little bit wary about that and shit, but yeah. <coughs> Let's see. Um, I think I need to weaken his bulky mons, and especially those, that Mega Gyarados, because I am. That, that actually is a humongous threat on my team. Uh, despite me having a lot of focus sessions and everything, so... Oh, apparently he is afraid of Mega Pinsir, which is kind of kind of logical, because it is a Mega Pinsir, he doesn't have Stealth Rock, so... Uh... <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully uh, I can take the early advantage, early lead in the game. I guess um, Stealth Rocks, if he wants to go Skull, that's fine. Is he Skull? I didn't. I don't speak this. Never mind. Um, okay, <laughs> life or life or um, Blastoise didn't really expect that. Is he going for the rapid spin? Yeah, he is. Okay. Um, so this is a game of sucker punch versus stealth rocks, and I'm gonna sucker punch because I do definitely. Damn it! Is he rest? He's not rested yet, though. So is he rest? <laughs> Slave talk. Skull. Because that would be kind of, kind of insane, but also kind of setup order. Well, I didn't have setup on Pretty Bell, unfortunately. But um, I think I'm just gonna go risk the. Oh. Okay, I should have speed this unless he's well. So he's in choice growth because yeah. Um, so I can get my stealth rocks up and just let this die. And I figured he would be Sugarberry for the pincer, so that's. Uh, Amazing to take care of the Sugarberry on the uh, Emperor's, which means that I have a very decent suite of Mega Pinsir potentially. Uh, I need to scout for his like uh, fast months or score version such because those outspeed Pinsir still. But I do have my Stealth Rocks up, so that's amazing. Um, yeah, not sure what he's uh, gonna go into. I have the, uh, I think I've got the early matchup advantage for now. Okay. Um, so, I am not sure what my best course of action is right here. Um, I don't think I just want to go for the Sash uh, Shells mess right here. Because I kind of want to make this my late win condition maybe. But also, if I go for it right now, I can clear up a path for Mega Prince to pull through, potentially. 
Or now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like this for now. This is just safe. Maybe Aurora's is choice curve, but if this is choice curve, then I just waste my Aurora's for no reason at all. So this guy, but it's be electric. I'm it's what does HP electric do? Let's let's go. Uh -huh. Two, uh, I'm assuming a standard choice curve variant though. That's like the variant I'm fearing, so if he's not that, then I just waste my uh, fixture bell, but it's not a win condition, it's, it's good to know that he's not a uh, choice curve then, if he's bulky for example. But Staraptor, um, choice curve variant against the fixture bell. Chlorophyll Sweeper, Hidden Power Electric. The 75, that is, that's a clean KO. So do I want to go for? Do I want to go for the Head of Power Electric or for the Sunny Bay? I kind of want to go for the Head of Power Electric to just clean this thing off. But he's now nah, he's gonna like go for a U turn. I'm gonna say. Maybe not. he might just go for a Brave Bird, but still, I think I would speed it off to the uh, Sunny Day either way. So yeah, I can do just do some massive damage. And also, if he switches out, he comes back in on. 51% uh, so maybe that's enough for Mega Pinsir to just do the job, I don't know. He's gonna U-turn, probably expecting me to be Focus Ash variant, otherwise I wouldn't have brought it in, so yeah. Well, let's see what he's gonna go into. <laughs> Hopefully my uh, my plan with the Mega Pinsir and with the uh, other guys is gonna work. He's gonna sack the Blastoise, I wanna say? I mean, if I had the other move, the one move, I'm not even brought back to my sesh. That's that's unfortunate. But after this, I am so. <laughs> and he doesn't have any spin anymore, so maybe a default on something. But I am brought back to my focus as uh, with this sack. Uh, if it was the um, setup move, the growth, I would have gone for that right there. But I'm not, unfortunately. But thankfully, yeah, the first one of his team is out of the way as well. So uh, it's five to five again. Let's go, baby. Let's see what you have in the, in the back. Victory Bells, by the way, are running for the um, MVP race. So it got, I think it's like 3 0 for now. Uh, and with this skill right here, it's 4 0. But if it dies somehow in this match, then it might just drop. Well, it's not gonna drop. Maybe it is because the other battles. Not sure. I don't only think for now there's only been one battle um, Shroom versus Nacho. And Shroom already uploaded that, so yeah. We'll see. Uh, you have to check that out, by the way. So just, just so you know, that's a shout out to Shroom. I, if I do not forget, which I very likely will, there will be a link to that in the description as well. Okay, he is even HP. I don't know if that means anything, but he might be like a berry, for example, or maybe. I just want to go for the inner power electric, man. That does nothing. God damn it. Uh, does weather ball do more? Unlikely, but um, damn it! If only I had growth, really. Um, I'm just gonna go for a water ball just for the style points. It actually does the ball, and it goes for the brave bird. And I'm gonna spam Giga Drains. Maybe that does decent damage. I guess he can boost up, but I don't know. Man. I can go potentially go into. Okay, I was gonna click cancel and go into Aurora's but yeah. Wait, 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 no 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 oh no that's gonna bite me. No, okay, that's fine. Um spam hyperfoise? Question mark. Unless he's focuses, it'll be kind of annoying. He's gonna go into Empress. Hyperfoise just straight up kills this thing. I guess, why, why didn't it just click freeze dry, man? I am not even sure. I am honestly not sure why. I guess I guess I was afraid that the prevent skill from the Emperor because it's probably gonna survive a type of a freeze dry from Aurora since Aurora is only pretty strong because of the hyper voice boost. The, the, the richer rate hyper voice boost, that is. Hmm, let's see. I might just risk this guy and stay in on the potential um, score of Mon on his team. Not sure. Not sure. Uh, the only way to make the absorb go work is if I just use Glacian versus the uh, Gyarados. So, uh, 
Okay, he's gonna go into Babette. Babette. Should I sack Victory Bell? I think that is my best course of action here. Yeah, I'm gonna sack Victory Bell. If he is not Choice Curve, he's gonna go for the Roost potentially, but that's fine. I think he's gonna. Maybe he's Choice Curve, maybe he's Choice Bell because Quick Attack. I don't know. Especially if he's like um, Tailwind Under Tornadoes. He might just be a bulk of variant or something along those lines, or specs or whatever. Um, not sure, I've not really considered Tornado Desire to be a humongous threat, but maybe that's gonna bite me in the ass. Let's see what my opponent's gonna go for, man. <laughs> uh, just gonna go for U turn, that's fine, I still got the momentum by uh, having him switch into rocks with something else again. I wanna weaken the uh, Gyarados quickly, so hopefully he brings it in right here. Nah, he doesn't. Um, should I use Glacian for this? I am tempted to. I'm not sure if it. Yeah, I think maybe that's my best course actually. Or just Priest Tram. This wouldn't be Scarf, right? So, Freeze Dry, how much is Freeze Dry doing to this thing? Aurora's it's Rock Polish Head sure, that's probably Max. Yeah, that's Max. Tornadoes. Um, the Tornadoes Bulk Upset. That's the one I'm showing that has the super power, so. Super power. That just is a clean Oko, so if he's the Choice Curve, then he's gonna KO me straight up. Freeze Dry is a roll. Uh, if that there wouldn't be stealth rocks or if he's not bulky, but I'm just gonna go for the freeze dry and see what that lands me. I think oh he is scarfed. Nice, nice, nice. Oh he's not scarfed, he just outspeeds me. I'm probably very stupid not knowing that. <laughs> that's fine. Um shh, that's kind of bad actually because I sh probably should have checked its speed use a little bit better. Um so he's special, should I go into Cloyster and just try to win? Yeah, uh, yeah why not? I mean, if this is gonna end up with me losing, then so be it. So, Shell Smash... I sure doesn't KO from this range, does it? Um, Cloyster. Janitor, yep, that's the one. I sure does. Nah, I don't know. So, Shell Smash. If he's gonna go for the Taunt, then that's a good play. He's gonna go for the Heat Wave. And there didn't show that my sash is broken, so that's probably. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my focus is broken. That's pretty crazy to be fair. That is pretty crazy. Um, just gonna go for the shot. He didn't go for. Okay, so he might just have been defiant, maybe? No, actually, I think I had speed. Of course, I had speed because I'm faster than he is. So he couldn't get the uh, tailwind up even if he had tailwind, so yeah. He probably has to go into Gyarados right here, I'm assuming, because I kill the Strapter with the Ice Shot, I kill the Braviary with um, the Ice Shot as well, probably, and otherwise the Esco Spear or the Rock Blast will do the job. So Gyarados is his only way of winning, I'm assuming, and he needs to do that right now. Maybe. Hopefully Glacian is bulky enough to like potentially live a close combat, or a superpower. It's bulky, Glacian, usually, but I don't know if it's bulky. So I think his only course of action is Gyarados and Maggie Evolve Up and Lift the Rock Blast that's incoming, because that's gonna lift the hit, guarantee. Especially if he has Intimidate Gyarados. Mm, let's go with the, this Dragon Dance set. Uh, rock Blast at plus one, because Intimidate. Plus 50%, yeah, that's easily gonna eat that up. Uh, he cannot set up on me though, so uh, I think, yeah, I'm definitely not speeding it after it sets up because I'm uh, 70 base speed, he's 81 base speed, and I'm at plus 2 and he's at plus 1.
Good. So my only play is gonna be going for another shells for him to set up, or going for the rock blast. He's not. By the way, he's not. Um, I'm just gonna go for the rock blast. He's not the. He's not the Mega Gyarados. So does this mean I win? I think it does mean I win. Unless I'm. Nah, I'm not gonna risk missing. I guess. Maybe. So <laughs> this is pretty crazy that I lived on one HP. And the says isn't broken. That's actually that's actually funny as shit, man. Um, yeah, he's not Mega Gyarados. I really, really expect him to be Mega Gyarados. So yeah, I sure is gonna KO you, man. Don't worry. So Cloister pulling through. Um, Ice Cold Spear is 100% accurate. So Ice Cold Spear. GG, man. GG. Mega Pinsir, the one one that he was very afraid of, uh, didn't even come into play. One percent. Anyhow, um, check out Kino in the description down below. He uploads his uh, SMB League games as well, so uh, definitely check him out in the description down below. He's a funny German guy, he made also this Cambio Zygon logo that you see on the screen, so a uh, huge shout out for him to that. <laughs> Lowest level was 99.5% he said. Crazy. <laughs> uh, anyhow, I'm gonna see you later. Uh, this is the third victory in a row for the Cambio Zygon in the SMD League, so uh, this team is apparently pulling through, and maybe close to very viable in the draft from it anyway, so... Um, thanks Will for giving it to me. I think it was Will that gave it to me, but um, might be a mistake. But yeah, see you all next week where I think I'm facing Will himself, the guy that gave me closer. So uh, goodbye for now and check out everything, everyone in the description below. Uh, goodbye.